So thank you so much for joining the Green Tech Festival here Thanks in you. Berlin, Germany. I'm a huge fan of you. I've been reading up recently about it and especially about your brilliance. So thank you. I have to ask you, when you were a little girl and your friends were probably playing with Barbies, did you always dream that you would someday become an engineer and make motorcycles? Absolutely not. I was playing with Barbies like all the other girls. The only thing is that maybe I was uh, playing uh, like uh, managing all the other Barbies, <laughs> kind of. So yeah, I, I, but I was absolutely the same as all the others. And I was absolutely not thinking of this. I was passionate of everything else. So what was the starting point for you getting into this field? Well, I started working with, uh, with my father and uh, I was really in love with motorsport, uh, with Formula One, with the uh, motors and so on. And, uh, and uh, at one time I decided that I wanted to do something together with him that was completely different from all the others. So using the background and expertise in motorsport that we had with the family company, but applied in something completely new. And uh, we wanted to do a, our own product. So, let's say that I was trying to find my way. And, and at the end, when we started to work together on, the, on electric motorcycles, uh, racing, at the beginning it was still racing motorcycles, it was, uh, it was really amazing. It was a completely white paper, and we could do everything, because nothing was done before. So it was really crazy, amazing from uh, from technical point of view also, and then uh, and then my father died, and and that was the, the the moment for me to to go on with with our dream. So would you say that your parents really supported you to becoming the innovator that you are today and sort of shattering the glass ceiling? Because I know I have a son who's turning 16 this year and I'm sure there's a lot of parents in the audience today and I often think about it like, what sh should we do in order to raise children who will go on to provide solutions that our planet needs at this time? Well, actually, I think that uh, I was not pushed. I was just left... Uh, um, free to choose and and when i was uh, maybe uh, having new ideas they were just telling me well try try your best the, the important thing is that you do your best whatever you do you cannot even clean uh, <laughs> things you, you can do what you want but you have to do at your best and put your passion in it and you can do everything if you do passion if you do with passion and and i think that that's the key you have to do everything with really a lot of passion. And then you will not feel sacrifice or you will not feel tired, but passion is the key of everything. So you found your passion and then you ended up in this company, CRP. What was the feeling like there? Because in Italy, it's kind of this masculine dominated macho world. <laughs> well, the first time that I was in a paddock of Formula One, it was many years ago. Now there are some more women there, but in the beginning it was not so many, or without umbrellas, I mean. And they just were asking me if I was an umbrella girl. And I was uh, always replying, no, I am an engineer. And they would say, ah, okay, and went away, everybody. So it was really tough, but it was also a good school because at the end, I, I understood that if I wanted something, I had to put everything in that, and I could achieve it, but I really had to fight. So now, just a few minutes ago, someone asked me if I'm scared of doing something that I'm trying to do very hard, and I said, actually, no. I'm not scared because I've done so many things in the past that were really tiring, and I achieved them, so I think that I don't want to say that nothing is scaring me, but referring business, no. Is that why you created your own company? Because you couldn't find a platform within the company you were to sort of live your passions and yeah, make it happen? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I had the, the background, I had the technology, but I didn't have something that was involving me so much to put my passion so much. And so even if I knew that it was very difficult, and maybe uh, sometimes I was afraid, but at the end, uh, I wanted to test myself first, and, and that was the only way, to do my own way. Why do you think you can be defined as an innovator? What defines you as one? Uh, I, actually, someone else is doing this. I'm not do 
I think that just because um, we are trying to do something that nobody did before. Uh, so there are electric motorcycles on the market, but there are no high performance electric motorcycles on the market. And there is no one able to do Moto E. And uh, there is no other motorcycles with fast charging. We are the only one, all the others are cars, but we are the only one with fast charging. And every time they were technical staff, everyone else was saying me, but this, nobody did this before. We are a small company. Are you sure you want to do this? It's really difficult. Are you sure? And I was said, yeah. I, I'm not scared because nobody did it before. It means that they were maybe not brave enough or not good enough. I don't care why. But I'm sure that if we put our passion and our technology and our brains in this, we can do this. And if we think that it's correct, we will do it. So for everyone in the audience, Livia has a company called Energy Co Motors. Can you tell us which is your favorite product, or if there's one that you want everyone to know about, which one is the one they should learn about and why? Well, I think that the first one is the Eagle, that is a super sport motorcycle, a super bike, a very super bike. And that's the one that we first made, and from what we uh, made, the, the Ego Corsa, that is the one that will race. Uh, that's the first born and the most high performing one. There is the racing platform based on that. So I think that the Ego is very nice product. And I've heard you have a new adventure with Moto E. Yeah. Can you tell us uh, what you're bringing to the market as a green leader with Energy Co Motors and how's that going? I think that we are bringing a new paradigm. I mean, um, everybody is used at thinking that smell, that vibrations and heat uh, means performance. And we are demonstrating that they are just side effects but actually performance has nothing to do with that. They are really merely side effects. We are doing the best performance and you can, and you can do this with no compromise. And no compromise for me is what we call pure performance. So you don't have, you are still sustainable, you are not hitting our planet and you're still having fun, passion and performance. So pure performance with no compromise. So making d good fun. They're, Absolutely. They should be synonymous together. I think that's actually the way to change the world is to make the green things fun. <laughs> so yes. You're doing Absolutely. a great job of that. And if you have one thing that you want to tell us about, what is your legacy that you want to leave behind or your main goal in all of this that you're doing? What do you think we need to learn in regards to your work? I think that maybe just what we were saying before, not to be scared to innovate, not to be scared to do something new that nobody did before, not to be scared that something seems to be too big for you. It's, it's one step after the other. Not, you don't have to think only to that, you have to know where you want to go, but you don't have to be scared that because over there it's so big. Start one uh, step after the other, feel confident, find the right people around you, involve them, make them uh, partici participating in what they do. Don't, don't just let them be there. They have to be protagonists of what they are doing together with you, so they will really help you to, to achieve it. And so, all together, with passion, with know-how, studying a lot, uh, with a lot of training, you can go everywhere. Nice. This, this is important I, for young people in particular, not to be scared. Try before scaring. Try. And would you say that's your biggest advice to women who want to be innovators? And Absolutely go, the same. Have no fear. <laughs> so I, I've been speaking with the very young women uh, with the schools and so on because they asked me to speak and, and to uh, try to un make them understand that they can do both. They can be mom and they can be entrepreneurs, engineers and so on. And many times they say, well, my fa in, not only in, uh, in uh, strange places, I mean, in, in our planet, in our cities, okay? And I listen to them and they say, well, my father is telling me that it's uh, useless for me to study because I'll be a mom, so I will have no time to 
be good at, at work, at job, to have a career. That sounds almost like the dark ages. <laughs> That's right. I said, are we in 2019? So I look at them and, see, and say, look at me. Uh, I am a mom, I have a dog, I have a life. I'm an engineer and I'm an entrepreneur. So what, what, what's the problem? I'm not so good. I'm just doing what I want and I fight to reach it. So you can do the same. I'm not better than you. You are absolutely like me. So if I do this, everyone can do this. So just don't listen to your father. Do what you want. If you want to study, if you want to work, if you want to do what you want, if you want to be just a mom, it's perfect. But if you want to do something else together and being also a mom, you can. Just choose what you want and not 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 be scared. Thank you very much, Thanks. Livia. You're a limitless woman. Everyone, please give her a big hand. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.